we have a special treat for you. Please help me welcome Ernie G. All right, all right, all right. Are you guys having a good time tonight or what, yeah? Yeah, like he said, my name is Ernie G. I'm a Latino comedian from Los Angeles. Now I go around the country and I do clean, smart, progressive empowerment comedy for the Latino community. So I'm excited to be here for you guys tonight. You know what's really cool? I was back there thinking right now, like, what are we really doing here tonight? I mean, on one level, yes, this is the Hispanic College Fund Scholarship Awards Gala, and we are doing that. But if you think about it, you know what we're really doing here tonight? What we're really doing here tonight is we are celebrating Latino excellence. Celebrating Latino excellence. And that's a new concept, I think. That's a fairly new concept to celebrate Latino excellence. I think when our abuelitas and abuelitos and tias and tios came here from whatever countries they came from, when they got here, they weren't too concerned with celebrating Latino excellence. They were more concerned with celebrating Latino existence, getting here and staying here, right? But now we're in a new age. There's a paradigm shift that's occurred, and we're involved in the conversation of celebrating Latino excellence. And that's a big source of pride for me, because I love being Latino. I'm proud to be Latino. I say that because people are always asking me, Ernie, what nationality are you? What's the G for, Ernie G? Is it Garcia, Gutierrez, Gonzalez? My full name is Ernesto Tomas Grichevsky. <laughs> Messed you up with that one, huh? I thought you were Latino, stupid. I'm a Mexican-American, Puerto Rican, Russian, and French Catholic Jew. I am this country. And it's a big source of pride for me to be able to share that with people. Because, see, recently I was just asked to be the, uh, a couple years ago I was asked to be the keynote speaker at UCLA's RASA graduation. UCLA has a big graduation every year, and then they have a separate graduation for the Latino families to celebrate. They have mariachis and pan dulce. You know how we do it. And uh, they had about 500 undergraduate Latino students getting their undergraduate degree. They had over 200 getting their master's and their PhD, and then they had 5,000 of their friends and family in Poly Pavilion, right? Because, <laughs> you know, if one of our cousins graduates, the whole family graduates, right? So I was there, and what I told those students is the message that I've been delivering across the country everywhere I go, that it's beautiful that they're getting their degrees and transforming the world that Latinos live in. It's beautiful that they're transforming the paradigm. But no matter how much education they ever have, no matter how much money they ever make, no matter how much affluence they ever attain, if they grew up in El Barrio, they will always have a little ghetto inside of them, okay? Okay. I love the mixed reaction I always get to that joke. Because half of you are not sure what I mean. Half of you get it. That's right. Yeah, what's up? The other half are like, no, stupid dumb. I'm not ghetto. I don't mean ghetto in a negative way. I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean that in a beautiful, powerful way. If you have a little ghetto in you, if you grew up in El Barrio, that means your abuelitas, your tios, your tias, they taught you how to be a survivor. They gave you survivor skills. Here, I'll give you an example. In East LA, the most famous taqueria is called King Taco, right? We got some King Taco fans in the house? All right, I used to love King Taco, but they keep raising the prices, $1.25 a taco. You buy four tacos, you can't get an horchata anymore. I'd rather go to this other place called Tacos Mexico, they have 50 cent tacos. You know what that means? For $2, you can buy four tacos, dude. $2, four tacos, but I don't stop there. Like the real Mexicano that I am, I separate each of the tortillas and I make eight tacos. I spread the meat around. You always end up with that one taco, didn't get enough meat. It's like a cilantro taco. Ugh. See, happy you are getting what I'm saying here. See, our abuelitas, our tios, taught us how to save money, how to be survivors. And just notice that when I said ghetto, for half of you, a negative connotation popped into your head. But if I grew up in El Barrio, if I'm from the ghetto, and I live a good life, and I went to college, and I graduated, and now I'm a positive impact on society, then how can the ghetto be bad? Maybe, maybe we need to transform our relationship to some of the words that we use to describe ourselves. And what I told those UCLA graduates is that I think being from El Barrio is something to be proud of, something to behold. And I can tell some of you are still not sure what I'm talking about. 
So here's the ultimate test if you think you might have a little ghetto in you. When you run out of shampoo, do you throw the bottle away? No, you pour the water inside, shake it, pour it on your head, right? 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 Everybody does that. Even Mr. Marriott does that. Don't lie. Don't lie. You do that, don't you, sir? But the difference is Mr. Marriott fills it up the whole way, shakes it one time, pours it on his head, then throws that thing away. That's being a waster, dude. Not us, Latinos. We fill it up a third of the way. Because that's soapy water. That's like three shampoos in one right there, huh? You fill it up a third of the way, shake it, put some on your head, and then you put that thing back. <laughs> then the next day you go in there, you get the shampoo bottle, you open it, you squeeze it on your head. Brrr, that soapy water is cold. <laughs> okay, only the really ghetto people are laughing now. Okay, cool. <laughs> then finally, the last day you go in there, you get the shampoo bottle, you open it, you squeeze it on your head. Nothing comes out. You're like, shoot, what do I do now? It's like the good ghetto Latino that you are. You have a towel around your waist, go to the kitchen and get palm olive dishwashing liquid, baby. Heck yeah!